Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and today we're going to go over the fan laws. The fan laws, also called the affinity laws, describe the relationship between variables involved in fan performance shaft speed, airflow, pressure, and horsepower. The fan laws assume that the air density doesn't change and that the system that the fan is in doesn't change either. So now let's look at the fan laws. Let's move this up out of the way. The first law says that the airflow is proportional to the shaft speed. So as the RPM increases, the airflow will increase as well. The formula looks like this. CFM1 divided by CFM2 equals RPM1 divided by RPM2. So if you know CFM1 and RPM1 and you know RPM2, you can calculate what CFM2 is. So that would be CFM1 times RPM2 divided by RPM1. So let's say we have 350 CFM at 700 RPM and we want to go to 1000 RPM. And that would give us 500 CFM. Or on the flip side, if you know you, your CFM you need to get to, you can calculate what RPM you need to have to get that CFM. Let's move this out of the way to look at the second fan law. The second fan law says that the pressure is proportional to the square of the RPM. So this looks like this. Pressure 1 divided by pressure 2 equals RPM 1 divided by RPM 2 squared. So let's say you want to find pressure 2. Here's the equation for it. Now let's say you're starting with 2 inches of pressure. We're going to use our 1,000 and 700 from earlier, and that comes out to 4.08 inches of pressure. So you can see that by the RPM going up from 700 to 1,000, the pressure increased from 2 inches to over 4 inches. So now let's move this over and look at the third law. The third law states that the horsepower varies by the cube of the RPM. So this equation looks like this. Horsepower 1 over horsepower 2 equals RPM 1 over RPM 2 cubed. So now again we can solve for horsepower 2 and we can find out what happens when our RPM changes. So let's say we have a half horsepower here. We'll use 1,700 again. That comes out to 1.46 or approximately 1.5 horsepower. So increasing your RPM from 700 to 1,000 increased your horsepower from 0.5 to 1.5. So this is something to think about in HVAC systems. If you have more pressure than expected, you have to speed up the fan to get the airflow you need. The energy you'll use goes up as the cube of the RPM. Now with fractional horsepower motors, like those used in fan-powered boxes, this may not be a big deal. But the fan laws apply to all the fans in your HVAC system, and that could add up to a lot of extra energy usage. So let's bring them all back on the screen. So the first fan law is that the airflow is proportional to the shaft speed. The second fan law is that pressure is proportional to the shaft speed squared. And the third is that horsepower is proportional to the shaft speed cubed. So that's the basics of the fan laws. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.